Hey guys, Sai here. Welcome to another episode of Shadows Gear Previews. Today we're going to be talking about the Road America race that was yesterday. So let's go ahead and get on with it. The Xfinity race, um, yeah, I didn't really see live. Um, I can tell you Kyle Busch won. Daniel Hemrick got second again for the ninth time in his career. Sick and tired of seeing that. I want him to win so bad. Spencer Papelli actually took a wild ride and took a big hit in the Xfinity race, but luckily he was okay. Anyway, so now let's move on to the Cup Series, um, which was on yesterday. I got to see the pretty much entire thing. Um, William Byron started on pole. There was an issue in qualifying with with a few guys. Um, there were a few cautions that came out, and then like a few guys like Chase Elliott, Chase Briscoe, Austin Dillon, Ricky Stiles Jr. I think those guys um, went out, but they never actually got a full lap in because the caution came out before they could complete a lap. So. Because of that, they, they never got a full lap in, so they had to start near the back. Kyle Busch had to start in the back, and so did Ryan Priest, because they both uh, crashed out. I, I saw Kyle Busch just literally ran backwards in practice after the crash. That's It's just Kyle being Kyle. Um, yeah, but, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention last week that Kyle was singing in the car, and then also he had a transmission issue after he won Pocono. So, anyway, anyway that's Road America. So... Yeah, Chase Sally, the wrong course ringer, had to start in 32nd, I think. So, yeah, he had some he had some ground to make up. So, that, yeah, Byron and Larson started on the pole. Or, Byron and Larson started on the front row. Byron started on the pole. So, the green flag dropped, and Almendinger and Cindric were in the race. They both started in the top five, so good job for them. Almendinger almost took the lead early on. But Byron got away, and I think he won stage one. Stage one was kind of... I don't know, a little boring. Da Daniel Suarez was running just inside the top ten. He had a transmission issue on like lap three, so his day was done like on lap three, which sucked for Suarez. So yeah, the restart and Byron pretty much steal the deal. One stage one, stage two. Austin Cindra came out and ended up leading some laps. He led some laps in uh, Coda earlier this year when he started like third and then like led laps in the rain <laughs> when he was, just, was like ten seconds in front of the field. That was impressive. He did this. He did this again and then another driver. Another underdog, I, I don't know if he's called, I don't know if you call him underdog or not, he's like right in the middle. Matt DiBenedetto came up, and he led a, a battle with Austin Sindrick, and he actually took the lead a little bit and led some laps, until he had like a flat tire towards the end of stage two, so he had to pit, and also Austin Sindrick was leading, and then he battled with, I think, DiBenedetto and Kyle Busch for the, for the lead, and then he like, um, had, I, I don't know what happened, he had like, some sort of, I think he had like an axle break or something, or like a tire down. I don't know, some, some, some weird for Austin Cindric. Then he ended up spinning around, and then that was it for Cindric. Cindric went to the garage, and that was it for him. Sucks because he had a great day. Uh, Austin Cindric did. Um, and then uh, Kyle Busch took the lead in stage two, but then he came to pit road. So did Shurex behind him with like a few laps to go. The guy that did not pit and also won stage two was Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick ended up winning stage two just a second. Uh, stage win, so congrats to Tyler Reddick on that. I believe Justin Haley got uh, ninth, and no one even mentioned that, so congrats to Justin Haley. I know he's not on a full... I don't think he's on the chart. I don't think he's full-time in the Cup Series, or maybe he is, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he got a top ten in that stage. Also, Kyle Tilly is... Uh, like, like if you do, a bunch of guys went off track. Hamlin went off track. Kyle Tilly, I just mentioned, went off track. Anthony Alfredo went off track. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um... Brad Kozlowski went off track. I think Blaine... Blaine? No, Blaine had a tire. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, oh, yeah. Blaine had damage late in the race, but I'll get to that. So, yeah. Then uh, stage three came, and then Chase Elliott. That's when Chase Elliott, the road course rigger, started to come up, and he took the lead, and then it was the chase show uh, at the front. And then Michael Medell, who was just running inside the top ten, had, like, front damage, and, and so did Ryan Blaine. He also had front damage, and... All that stuff, and then it looked like Chase Elliott was just going to pull away the lead, and then with around 20 to go, they were mentioning how if a caution comes out, who's going to pit, and then right as they were talking, Anthony Alfredo cut a tire and spun around in the grass, and with the tire down in the grass, he could not get it out, so it was stopped there. It was all about when the caution came out. The caution ended up coming out, like, I don't know, like 20 seconds after Alfredo was in the grass or something, 15, 10, 15 seconds, I don't know. Uh, Ryan Blaney and Eric Camarola came to pit road, so that was good for them. Perfect timing by Blaney, though, because he almost had a tire down, just like DiBenedetto did. So, yeah, they restarted with about, I don't know, like 15 to go or something. So Amarillo and Blaney were on the front row, and uh, Kyle Busch took the lead. Chase Elliott got a monster restart there. He 
it was like back in fifth, and then he just marched his way up to second, like one or two corners, and then quickly took the lead from Bush, and then pulled away, and then it was it was gone from it was gone right there, and then it, the race the end of the race stayed dry until with about six laps to go when uh, two uh, Hendra teammates got into it. Um, Kyle Larson, Alex Bowman, and Denny Hamill were racing for a top ten, maybe the top five spot, and then. I think Bowman like overdrove the corner and locked up the tires, and he, he, he uh, yeah he didn't have brakes, and then he just went went in and got into the five car and spun his own teammate out, and then as Larson came back, Bowman had got damaged, and then he had a flat tire, so it's he stayed out like in lap before he pitted with a flat tire, so Bowman ended up pitting with like four to go. That ruined his top ten top ten race, and so did Larson. He didn't get a top ten, which I think ruins his top ten streak. Because he had like three, because he had the three wins, and then he had blown tire, but still finished ninth at Pocono. Then he finished second, so that's like five. I don't know. Sorry, sorry for Larson. So that ended his top ten streak. And then William Byron, the other uh, Hendry teammate, he literally just went off track and then like came back and he had to pit. I don't know. It was it was rough for the Hendry boys toward the end, except for one driver, Chase Elliott. He won Road America. That is his second win of the season, second road course win of the season, and seventh road course win. This, I'm sorry, you can make it. You can make it right now. Kyle, or Chase Elliott's the best road course racer ever. I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that because I'm just a Chase Elliott fan. I, I'm not being biased. I actually generally think he is the best road course racer ever. He, he's got seven road course wins. He's Third, he has the third most road course wins behind Jeff Gordon with nine and Tony Stewart with eight. And there's two more road courses on the schedule, so he could get up to tie Jeff Gordon for the number one spot. There's Watkins Glen, which he's won the last two, and then Indy Road Course, which he's never been to. That's that's a question mark. But he's good at winning a, a new tracks. He he won the first race at yesterday Road America, and then Coda, and then also the Daytona Road Course last year. So. I was good for Chase. Chase was on a dry spell. There's like he always is like a summer slump, and he did he had pretty much had the same summer slump, but not now because he won an Independence Day. So good job for Chase. And then yeah, he did one burnout. Then he was doing an interview, and then like people in turn five were literally chanting burnout. So then he did another burnout, and then blew the tires and also ran out of gas. I I don't know what it is with Chase Elliott running out of the gas after he wins both the Watkins Glen races that happened, and now this one. So yeah, congrats to Chase Elliott. Awesome. That got him more much much needed points because he had a he's not really had a good day or not a good year. So, I mean he's had he's had solid year, but like not like a, like almost a championship hangover season. But with this win, that's gonna help him out. We try to get back to back in the championship. Uh, Kyle Larson, because of his spin, he he's he was battling Denny Hamlin for the regular season championship. He's three points behind Hamlin, with I think still like six regular season races to go. So Larson is most likely going to get there uh, if he keeps this up, or not not keeping the spin up, but keeping his keeping his hot streak and top fives and top tens and wins and stuff going. He's going to pass Hamlin if Hamlin continues to just get points and not get wins. That's going to happen. Hamlin actually got a top five in this race. Three of the Joe Gibbs guys actually got a top five. Yeah, they also got a top five. Uh, Christopher Bell got second. How about that for Bell? Bell might be. A like a sleeper uh, on uh, road courses because he won the Daytona road course earlier and then he and then he uh, won, almost won Road America. He was actually got by uh, his team at Kyle Busch who finished but Bush finished third and then he got by him for second. And then Bell is actually close. Bell is actually quicker than uh, Elliott the last few laps, but uh, he, Elliott just had too big of a lead and uh, for for Bell to catch him. So yeah, Bell was able to run down Logano, but not not not. Road America. So yeah, Bell got second. Bush got third. Kurt Bush got fourth. Much needed for Kurt Bush. He's had a horrible, horrible year. So he, he got a top five. I know this is the last few races. He's had like top five runs, and then something happens. He runs out, runs out of gas or something, and he finally got a top five. So good, congrats to Kurt Bush. I think Hamlin was yeah, the last guy to get a top five. Chase Briscoe, I think. Excuse me, Chase Briscoe, I think got a top like a top ten. But he had like two missing lug nuts in inspection, and also his crew chief is um suspended. So I don't know if the seventh place finish is disqualified or something. I I don't know. I didn't hear anything on disqualification. He has two missing two missing lug nuts, so I'm not sure. 
Um, Ross Chastain, I think, also got a top 10. Logano, I think, also got a top 10. I'm not sure about the other two drivers. That French oh, Truex got a top 10. I think that's his first top 10 since... Arlington? I don't know. So, congrats to Truex there. Yeah, he had a speeding penalty after pitting after the end of stage two, so he had to spend most of the day working his way up and all that stuff. A driver that literally was not even met. I don't think he was even mentioned, except for, like, the Bush Light Apple contest every time there's, like, a lap, fl lap, lap, lap four in the, in the lap number. It was Kevin Harvick. Harvick, I think, started back at, like, 28th. I don't think it was in the top 10. I don't think he ever caught the top 10 in this race. I think it was in size like 13th or 12th or something. Harvick, and I'm surprised no one mentioned, no one mentioned Harvick. Like, Harvick had a horrible race at uh, Road America. So, I don't know, something, something they got to work on. I, I saw like an interview that, uh, that the, so, like they did last week with like Ronnie Childers or something. They said that they're not even close to win, and this kind of proves it right there because they were not even a factor at all. So, yeah, that's something that SHR is going to want to work on. Because Briscoe was decent. Uh, yeah, Briscoe was decent. Almirola was, eh, eh, he wasn't bad. He had that, um, was able to, to get, get, get lucky with that caution there to pit with Blaney. And that put him ahead. But then he fell back outside the top ten. Custer, I think, didn't do well at all. And I just met Harvick. So, yeah, SHR is kind of, um, I don't know, a little wobbly. So, there's that. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for just high script review. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, and really got the channel growing. And I'll see you guys, like, next week for just high script reviews for Atlanta. Should be fun. So, yeah, see you guys. Bye.